So, I've been asked to do a video because I haven't done one in a very long time. Um, so I'm going to do Okay, so um, lunch, thank you very much, and I told you that I would be doing the Guinness for an extra. Hello, where's the label? <laughs> Guinness for an extra stout. Uh, so this is obviously uh, a stout. That's its style class, or for an extra. Uh, it is seven, you know what, I don't remember, seven and a half percent alcohol, and I'm drinking it out of a 22, I'm sorry, 11.2 ounce bottle. Uh, I picked this up also at Total Wine, although it's relatively easy to get anymore. It's getting, well, I'm sorry, it's getting more and more common here in the States. Um, it wasn't too long ago that you flat out couldn't get this in the States. One of the things you'll notice from the uh, United States version over the European version is uh, it says for an extra on the neckband, but that's it. Um, Guinness's very familiar um, um, claim, Guinness is good for you, is not um, anywhere on here, unfortunately. And you know what? That's too bad because it's true. Anyway, um, so the story of this, um, like IPAs, or the commonly accepted story about IPAs, is that it was brewed a little bit stronger, a little bit hoppier to survive longer uh, trips. Um, supposedly it's been around for quite a while in the Guinness stable. It's only just now kind of coming to American shores. Um, it is the uh, strongest beer in the Guinness stable that I'm aware of. I'm, by the way, this company no longer exists, but uh, this glass is very old. From when I first met my wife, uh, she was an office manager of the, I think, Fullerton Red Onion. And I still have a pint glass from there. So uh, I'm going to use a nice traditional imperial pint. Wow, wow. Okay, well, pours good like a stout with a lot of head. Look at that. I am not sure I'm going to be able to uh, So there's my 0 0.2 ounce. Didn't quite get it all in there. Look at that nice head. Now I'm going to say that that head is slightly more, I, I apologize, it's easy to miss colors on the computer, but I'm going to say that's a slightly more caramel head than the Guinness Extra Stout that we're all more used to. Although it's very thick, um, you can see standing on the glass. Um, wow. Yeah, that's the uh, the Guinness aroma that I'm used to. Um, perhaps a little bit... Uh, there's something else in there, a little bit more... Um, you could, I think the hops are coming through a bit in the, in the aroma as well, as well they should. Um, very dark. Uh, in this light, in this glass, I'm not getting any ruby at all. Um, I think some, well, no, there towards the bottom of the glass, you get some, some ruby colors uh, looking through the edges, but straight through the middle, nothing. Just pitch black, no light at all. There again, the way I like to see a stout. Um, does not have that uh, nitrogen falling uh, that we see in some Guinness. Mm. <laughs> wow. Yeah, um, the roast flavor is definitely coming through. Really good for a stout. Um, I first had this actually a couple days ago. We got a four pack. is uh, is sold in. A, it was a four pack for nine ninety nine um, here in Southern California at Total Wine. And some of my initial um, impressions about the beer on that first day have changed a little bit. Um, one thing is, uh, 
You know, I think we served it a little bit too warm the other day. Now, this one was uh, cooled down. Actually, I refrigerated it, and um, I've let it warm up here a little bit while I prepped for this. So it's at a really good temperature. It's cool, not too cold, certainly not too warm. And um, there was an astringent, not an unpleasant, but an astringent bite um, when we originally drank it. And I'm really not getting that so much now. I, I am getting it, but not a lot. Yeah, the roast barley's in there. Uh, maybe a little bit more hops. Definitely a little bit more hops. Um, there were some complaints I saw where it, it was no more, it had no more mouthfeel than the Guinness Draft. Um, I'm going to disagree with that, that it does have more, but not significantly more. Um, that's a little bit disappointing. I, I would like to see a little bit more mouthfeel. Um, but in, in, in a uh, foreign extra, apparently, in this case, a little bit more alcohol, a little bit more hops was their goal. Um, and, you know, it makes sense for them to release this the way it is. There's just an awful lot of beers right now that uh, are shooting for that. It's a very popular craft beer. Now we get bubbles coming up off the side. This is a really good sign. I want to tell you guys about this, but I also want to drink it. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. Um, malty and the roast barley is coming through. Really nice. Uh, whereas before, it tastes a little bit too hoppy to me. And I think um, my two friends and I, when we were drinking it, my comment was, it was almost as if Guinness tried to make a California beer. It's really unfair at this point now. I'm drinking this and it's just not coming across like that. Like, you know, green flesh stout or something like that. Um, it is much more well-balanced than I had originally tasted it. Wow. No, that's really good. It's, it, it, it is uh, everything that Guinness Extra Stout is. Just a little bit, you know, obviously the alcohol content is significantly higher. I mean, uh, not quite double, but more than half again. Um, I'm not getting any of al alcoholic bite or anything like that. It's really nice. Um, I'm not getting that really nice mouth feel and that silkiness that you get from Guinness. Um, you know, the carbonation being different and the Guinness Extra Stout. Um, so that creaminess and that fullness of mouth isn't there. But it's not entirely absent either. Yeah, that's a really good beer. You know what? Um, another thing that we were talking about the other day when we were drinking this, and like I said, at the time, um, the flavors were really, really pronounced. Um, and we were all saying how it would be really nice to cook with this, and I would really like to make some uh, Guinness stew which I have made before and, and liked. But um, I think the little bit of extra hops in this would really make the flavor shine through. You can see that head is, is lasting very nicely. Of course, I'm drinking it, you know, somewhat quickly because it's tasty. Um, I did have a ham sandwich for lunch, and there was brown mustard involved. But uh, that's been long enough ago where I think my tongue is re re uh, revived. Yeah, good stuff, man. If you're a fan of Guinness, this is everything Guinness is with a little bit more so. Yeah, a little bit less so on the mouthfeel. Um, is it worth buying? Definitely. nine ninety nine for a four-pack? Okay, you know, it's a 7 point, what was it again? 7.5? Not exactly low on the alcohol scale. So um, is it worth $10 a, a four-pack? You know what? If, if, if one bottle of Guinness Russian Imperial is worth better than $10, then I think a four-pack of this is definitely worth $10. Um, but it's just a, it's a good drinking stout. Yeah, really happy with that. Really happy. I was very disappointed in the first glass. I would totally admit that. 
Um, but it really must have been the temperature, the improper temperature. Uh, we were drinking them in the partial, uh, my half, um, I have little, you know, half size glasses we use for tastings. That's really good. Anyway, so uh, St. James Gate Breweries. Um, I don't know if there's anything else I need to tell you about this. There is a best before date, but it's far off. The most full flavored of all, saith them. Refreshingly crisp. That's fair. Uh, extra hops. Give it some Christmas. Christmas. You know, and the hops, uh, not uh, quite a citrus. There, there's a, there's, you know, you can tell the hops are in there, but it's not quite, it, it's not, you know, to the point of, say, a Sierra Nevada Pale Ale where you go, mmm, grapefruit. It's not like that at all. The hops are definitely there, and they're leaning towards that citrus without quite hitting it. If anyone knows, I'd be interested to know what hops they're using. Anyways, excellent. So that's uh, Guinness Foreign Extra, nine ninety nine a four pack. At least that's what I paid. Um, really good, really good stout. Uh, for those of you who have never had anything better than uh, some of the you know off brandy stouts or, or near stouts, that's that's a real nice one. Um, doesn't have that. You know that kind of uh, lager bite that, a, let's say, a Schwartz beer has? Nothing like that. But there definitely is more of a traditional carbonation going on here rather than what we uh, tend to think of in the Guinness uh, Extra Stout. Real good. Um, the roast barley and the coffee notes are nice. A little bit of toffee. Nice. Real nice. All right, anyway. So, uh, no beer news. <laughs> Just that. I'll see you guys later.